Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Kelvin Wilson of We Do Movies, and I'm back with another movie review. And I've been wanting to review this movie for a while. I just hadn't got the chance to see it, but I finally got to see it. And that movie is The Disaster Artist. Now, this movie came out last year. Now, for those who don't know about The Disaster Artist, it's a film that was produced and directed by James Franco. The movie was written by uh, Scott Neustetter and Michael Weber. The film is based on a book by the same name called The Disaster Artist. And the movie in the book chronicles the making of the movie called The Room. Now, this movie, The Room, came out in 2003, and it was written and directed by Tommy Wiseau. And Tommy Wiseau did this movie, which was widely considered one of the worst movies ever made. And if you haven't seen The Room, I'm telling you, you guys need to see The Room. It is one of the most weird and bizarre movies I think you will ever see. And when I first saw this movie, I'm talking about The Room, the Tommy Wiseau 2003 release. I was at a friend's house and he just kind of said, I got to show you this movie. I got to show you this movie and you can't leave until I show you this movie. And so I remember him putting in this movie and that movie was The Room. And I sat there and I couldn't believe that I was watching some of the worst acting I had ever seen on a film. Like, I mean, of course we all know the whole, you know, you're tearing me apart, Lisa, and oh, hi, Mark. And we can quote so many good lines from this movie. Now, the reason why everybody can quote lines for this movie is because even though The Room didn't do that well, it did well because of years of midnight screenings, just midnight screenings in every almost every city making stars out of Tommy Wiseau and also making a star out of Greg Sixtero who was also cast in the movie so basically the disaster artist is basically the movie chronicling the friendship of Greg Sixtero and Tommy Wiseau played by Dave and James Franco And it just goes deep dive into their friendship, how they met, how they became friends, how they moved out to Hollywood to set out to be actors and big stars. And when nothing was working for them, Tommy Wiseau had the great idea to write and direct this movie called The Room. And just the the production and everything along with this movie It is very bizarre because no one knows how Tommy Wiseau got his money. No one knows how old he is. No one knows where he's from, even though he kind of has this, like, this this foreign accent. But he claims that he's an all-American guy. He's from New Orleans. And it's just, he's so weird, but yet... You love the guy because he's just genuine. He may be lying about his age. He may be lying about how he got his money, but he's genuine in the fact that he really does care about Greg, his friend, and he really wants to do this movie. And this movie is really a testament to, I would say, the American dream. And it, even though this movie, The Room, was regarded as one of the worst movies ever made, it's still the fact that it's made money year after year after year through all these midnight showings. And then it was a book that came out that was written by Greg Sixtero and Tom Bissell, which then turned into... The movie The Disaster Artist. Now, this film also stars Seth Rogen, Josh Hutchison, Allison Brie, and Seth 
Rogan actually pr- helped produce this film as well. This movie is so freaking funny. I could not stop laughing. I thought James Franco did an excellent job as Tommy Wiseau. Like, the way he acted, the way his speech patterns was, the it was just... I I was looking at Tommy Wiseau and he buried himself in Tommy Wiseau. And this movie was really, really good. Now, I hate the fact that, and I'm going to say this, so follow me when I say this. The disaster artist kind of follows in the same pattern as Nate Parker's Birth of a Nation. Here's why I say that. Because... Birth of a Nation and The Disaster Artist were two films that came from the independent movie scene going to every independent film festival, garnering up all of these rave reviews, being talked about for Oscars. And as soon as that stuff started to hit, then all of a sudden these scandals came out and their film was just kind of forgotten. And it sucks because... The Disaster Artist is such an amazing film. When I tell you this is, I would say I have to regard this as one of the best films about a true life making of a film. Now, there's another film that does this exact same thing. It's a movie called Badass, and that movie was written and directed by... Mario Van Peebles and in that movie Mario plays his father Melvin and it goes into the the filming of Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song so when those movies kind of do that I really enjoy those movies because you get to see the real people how they were how they acted the struggles that it took to make these films and the overall kind of big you know, the, the the big picture of what these films did. And that's why I really enjoyed this film a lot. If you haven't seen The Disaster Artist, do yourself a favor and see the movie. But you guys tell me what you thought about The Disaster Artist. Hit me up on Facebook at We Do Movies. You can also see all our reviews not only on the We Do Movies Facebook page, but as well as our YouTube channel as well. And until then, we'll see you next time. Peace.